Hi folks and welcome to another Borky No Game video. Today's video is going to be covering Endgame and what I think Endgame achievements are. So let's get to it. Now, quick disclaimer, before I start this video off, this is pretty much aimed at people who are kind of sitting on Heroes Contre being like, what do I do now? How do I gauge myself? What am I supposed to be seeing so that I can feel like I've quote unquote reached the end game? And this is not a beginner's like guide or list or anything. These are my personal thoughts and opinions on what I think means endgame. So, you know, this is my opinion. I just want to divulge that. Anyways, so the first achievement is pretty much beating normal and hard mode. I'm pretty sure you guys saw this one coming. Ideally, you can three star all of normal mode because it's much easier going at it again and doing all of normal mode plus you have unlimited chances to three star for hard mode it's definitely harder to three star everything because you need certain types of heroes but ideally you can three star everything eventually but that is for a later time so that's the first one beating normal and hard mode and three starring all of normal mode so the next achievement is hero dungeon you should have like a core team i would say by now so you have like four to six characters that you use or four to eight characters that you use ideally for example i am using king dark and i have him in his hero dungeon you know i have him at level 90 and i have beaten him to stage 10. i would say that if you have reached this level of the game you can pretty much stage 10 any hero dungeon but the biggest thing is you stage 10 your main heroes so you're constantly collect fragments for you know your main heroes and the reason why you want to collect fragments is so that you can six star them eventually and then hopefully by the end of this sss them but that is for a later time and really quick for hero dungeon you should always buy stamina never get this ss equipment box it's a scam that's it or number two hero dungeon reach stage 10 number three and really quick there is no order to these achievements these are just the way i came up with the list all right Th this isn't an order of oh i need to beat normal and then i go hero no, no 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 this is just like some random order i came up with so get to checkpoint 50 for every single crack version i feel like most of us have already done this so that's it for number three, Dimension Crack. Get a 250. Next one, Avant Boss. You guys knew this was coming. Technically, I haven't uh, reached this achievement yet, but you have gotten to level 12 on all of the Avent Bosses. It's really easy to cheese all of these fights. Uh, I'll post a guide down below. Uh, it's a Google Doc document. Shoutouts to Sean and all the people who contributed to it. Uh, this is from the Heroes Contre Global Discord. I, I believe that's where it originated from. Anyways, you want to level 12 all of these advent bosses. And this is just like an achievement per se. The real kicker is being able to, at minimum, auto expedition 9 so you can get SS gear. But the biggest thing is I would say at least start getting to 11 and 12. 12 is of course the pinnacle, like the end game, the end game of the end game. And in Korea, they actually have leaderboards where you can see how many turns it takes someone to reach Advent 12 or to beat Advent 12. There's some people who's beating Phoenix in like two turns in Korea. so. This is another place that you can quote unquote like compete with others in a PvE aspect. So that's number four, Advent Stage, Manual 12, ideally Auto Expedition to 9. But the true pinnacle is Auto Expedition 12. But honestly, 9 through 12 is fine. That's it for this one. On to the next one, the next one, the next one. This is number five, Trial of Tower. Ideally, you have gotten to floor 50. If you are having trouble with floor 41, my biggest tip is to CC the Sujin Lee that is about to S3. 
All right, that's what you're supposed to do for floor 41. Once you have gotten to floor 50, you're pretty much good to go on the trial tower. Kind of want to say ignore Noblesse Tower in some case because this tower is sort of pay to win in my opinion. Check out Dance Dark, I'll leave descriptions down below. He does have some guides to some of the floors, but as you get to later floors, it gets kind of, you know, iffy. Um, if the developers are watching this, please know that Global is not ready for this Noblesse Trial of Tower content. We never had Noblesse, we're spending oodles of money trying to beat this Noblesse Tower. And I don't want this to be one of these things where it's like, it's a paywall, because this is a... This is a, an achievement that you can only get within the month and I feel like this is kind of cash grabby. I agree with jo uh, Gotchaverse when he posted that video. Um, full disclaimer, like it is just our opinions right, but it's one of those things where it's like they could have handled this a little better, especially for the folks in Global where we don't have, and even in JP, where they don't have, you know, fully leveled Noblesse units. Anyways. <laughs> Back to this one, number 5, Endgame is 450. Thank you. So really quick, I just wanted to say this. Thank you for reducing the hero pass. Thank you for adding all of this quality of life like the quest. And thank you for listening to the community Angel Games. Keep it up, I believe in you. Just thank you. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure the community sees what you guys are doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Please listen to us. Next one. Alright, next one. Level pop-up store to level 10, and the reason why I say this is so that you can get lower cooldowns or lower next renewals to get different rewards. This is the best place to spend gems in order to acquire goblin heads, memory shards, or memory fragments, and chaos shards. So, that's it for this achievement. Make sure to get this to level 10 so you have a place to spend your gold. Next achievement... Get at least a set of each elemental hero into the 6 star bracket. What I mean by that is that you have at least one fire unit, one ice unit, one nature unit, and one light slash dark unit that have reached 6 stars. And the reason for this is so you can complete every single quest that gets thrown at you. For example, if you get the coveted like random six star quests you get like 200 to 400 plus gems so it's just like a nice icing on the cake achievement if you can get all of these different attributed not attributed elemental heroes to six star and you don't have to ss them you can just leave them at a rank and they will function the exact same way for the quest so that's it i haven't done this i need to work on this one all right from this point forward, you can sort of ignore me if you want because these are things that require probably the most uh, most money to achieve, if you know what I mean. So the next one is Arena. And the rank that I feel like everyone should be at is Challenger 2. The reason why I say Challenger 2 is because Challenger 2 is when you no longer have bots that you can face. So I'm still facing bots in some case. So technically I haven't hit that achievement yet. Uh, so you can keep doing arena, keep winning until you get to challenger two, that's when the bots stop. You don't have to fight real people until you get to challenger two. So that's it for this achievement, arena. And the reason why you want to get to challenger two is so you get 200, no, not this one, not this one. I'm misspeaking. You get 270 gems per week easy we can do this i believe in you guys you can do this all right next one next achievement team arena they've actually revamped this they took away the little star clock thing whatever this is and they have actually given us the tier rewards which are very very similar to arena and i'm glad how it's on one page versus arena you can, I think you can keep facing bots up to Challenger 2 for this one. And ideally, I would say just getting into Challenger for Team Arena is fine. Uh, Team Arena is definitely way harder. I would actually lower it down to like Diamond even. Just because, like in order to reach 
team arena. This requires way more resources, but I do. I miss, I, I'm, you know, I am off put. I'm like in the middle. I like these rewards, but at the same time, I miss the old ones. But more gems, the better, because gems are a great currency that we all definitely need. So that's it for this one. Reach Team Arena, I would say Diamond, not Challenger, just because it's much harder and you're only locked in to five tries per day. And this is the last one. This is kind of linking to my previous video, but I'm gonna say it anyways. This is currently the pinnacle of PVE content, Guild Lab. And this is probably the most difficult. So I'm gonna give you an individual achievement because I don't, I know this is, you know, everyone's supposed to be working together. Shoutouts to my guild, Boo. Thank you for everyone participating in the guild. But I want to make this a personal achievement. So, what is the number that you want to hit to reach endgame? I would say 10 mil is the minimum, but it's not 10 mil. 20 mil! 20 mil is you are true pinnacle. And of course, if you are the most biggest and most skyrocketing of pinnacle people for the end game, you're hitting damage such as 60 to 100 M per run. This isn't, when I said 10 to 20 M, I didn't say that altogether. I meant 10 to 20 M per run. So this is an end game list and this is my opinions. So, you know, that this is something that you don't just do in the game. This is something that you achieve at the end game. So, and that's it for this one. Really quick, go ahead and place into the comments on some achievements that you think I missed. Like for example, 6 starring and triple SSing the god and the man that you know that rules this game, Rock Rothreiser. Something like that, yeah? Anyways, thanks. Alright, to close us off, this is a video stamped on June 30th. This is what I believe is Endgame on June 30th. This should probably change in the future once they add stuff such as world raid uh, actual leaderboards for the advent boss um, just every single leaderboard that you can imagine um, maze once those things come out obviously the end game will change but really quick i haven't achieved all of these so i am still working towards these i'm sure there's definitely people who have already achieved all of these i'm actually missing five in particular Advent Boss, Manual 2, Stage 12, you know, getting Auto Expedition 12, 6 starring a bunch of heroes, getting to Di or Challenger 2 in 1v1 Arena, getting to Diamond at least in Team Arena, and then Guild Lab hitting at least 20 M on average per run. And when I say M, I mean million. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, thank you for being here, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, I appreciate it, I appreciate you, you are amazing. Thank you so much for watching again, and have yourself a fantastic day. See you in the next one.